Hello and welcome to another Explorer video. Today we're taking a look at a Red White or a Boros Heroic deck which gets to take advantage of a Leyline of Resonance which is banned in Best of One Standard but still very much legal in Explorer. So hopefully we can start with it in our opening hand so we can copy our various pump spells. This deck is actually less likely to win the game on turn 2 than the Monorad Standard version since we don't have Cacophony, Scamp and Hardfire Hero to set up the turn 2 kill but we could still technically get there with a turn 1 clever Lumimancer if we have a Leyline in play and this will get plus 2 plus 2 whenever we cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell so it's also quite synergistic with the Leyline and then we'll need two copies of Turn Inside Out giving three extra power since we get to copy it that's plus 6 and then we'll get two Lumimancer triggers for each copy of Turn Inside Out so that's plus 10 power for each copy meaning two copies will be plus 20 for Xaxes hopefully. So we can potentially get there on turn 2, not super likely, but we do have some other creatures we wouldn't mind targeting. Favored Hoplite, getting a plus 1 plus 1 counter with Heroic can also prevent all damage that would be dealt to it, so especially useful if we block with Hoplite or if it gets blocked. And then at 2 mana there's the Virtuoso, which is probably our most powerful threat since it has double strike and gets to connive whenever we target it with a spell, which also includes the copy we might get from Leyline, so that can quickly churn through the deck and give it additional plus 1 counters if we discard a non-land card. And then the Slick Shot also helps us fly over any potential blockers and can also plot it to maybe help play around removal spells. And then our pump spells include lots of cantrips as well. We've got Defiant Strike giving one extra power and drawing a card. So especially with Leyline this can see a lot of extra cards for us. And then at Sorcery Speed there's Ancestral Anger also giving additional power. It gets better the more copies we've already cast and also draws a card. And then we've got a little bit of protection with God's Willing, also lets us scry one. Can also maybe help us get past blockers if the opponent only has creatures of one caller back on defense. Homestead Courage for plus one counters and vigilance. Can also maybe discard it to connive from Virtuoso and still flash it back, so it can provide a bit of value. And then we've got more Trample with Monstrous Rage, giving the monster roll token. Also better if we copy it with Leyline, if we can target multiple creatures, since one creature can only have one monster roll token at the same time. And finally, Turn Inside Out, giving three additional power. If our creature dies, we also get to Manifest Dread. Can also be a decent response to a removal spell on our creature, especially with Leyline out, as we might end up with a pair of 2-2 two -two creatures, which can be good if you don't have any other creatures left otherwise, which can sometimes be a weakness of this strategy. If your opponent removes all your creatures, your pump spells don't do much. Although at least with cards like Ancestral Anger and Define Strike, we can also target the opponent's creatures just to draw a card, although then we don't get the copy from Leyline of Resonance. You might also have noticed we're no longer playing with Reckless Rage, which used to be a staple in the Heroic decks. Part of the reason why is that it doesn't synergize with Leyline, since we wouldn't get a copy because it has more than one target, but also because the creatures don't necessarily have a lot of toughness anymore. Only Hoplite and Lumimancer naturally survive the two damage from Reckless Rage, whereas Slickshot and Virtuoso need to have additional toughness, so the deck doesn't really work with Reckless Rage as well as it used to. And then the mana base is lots of red-white dual lands that enter untapped, two of each basic, could also maybe squeeze in a Naigancho, or maybe play one of each basic and a few copies of Mana Confluence if you're worried about drawing two of the same basic and not having both colors. So yeah, that's our deck, now let's jump in some games and see how the deck does. Okay, we're on the draw, no Leyline, but still probably a functional hand, double Lumancer, can protect one with God's Willing, opponent on the red aggro. All right, so this might be a race. Amber Heart with a plus one counter hits us for three. Serpent's pretty far ahead already. All right, now we'll just play two creatures out and then next turn hope to do some damage. Could also pass Keep Up God's Willing to maybe set up a block and ambush. But that might also work out poorly if they have instant speed interaction. Opponent also unloading some creatures. Hits us for five. And a defined strike to draw. So how much damage can we deal if we cast double anger plus God's willing? I can basically give all my creatures a form of evasion. Three spells giving these plus six plus six, so that's twelve. 
So yeah, I don't think we quite have enough to attack for lethal here, even with God's Willing making a creature unblockable, basically. Could try and set up some blocks with God's Willing and a fine strike at instant speed. Yeah, I'll play it safe. And then Hoplite can also soak up damage. Swiss Peers next. Okay, so let's line up some blocks. Something along these lines. Opponent's got the Monstrous Rage on Challenger. We'll see what Valiant reveals. Another Swiss Spear. Step one, Defiant Strike. Find another one, okay. So, right now I would be taking four Trample, so I'm not dead. Unless they have another Pump Spell or Burn Spell. But I guess I can afford to cast another Defiant Strike. Find a Monstrous Rage. Okay, so now the Challenger dies. We're at two. And Swiss Spear. So I don't think I cast anything end of turn since we're limited in how many spells we can cast with the Battlefield Forge. And then I can give everyone Trample, basically. Find the Slick Shots. And another Ancestral Anger could still draw into an untapped land. And now we can still Monstrous Rage, although this might already have been enough to begin with. Awesome, so one life against the other red aggro deck of the format. Without Ley Line, so it was a fair fight. Awesome. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw. Only one creature without Ley Line. Three lines is a bit much, and Monstrous Rage not always great in multiples. I think we mulligan. Well, we've got a Ley Line Triple Lua Mancer, and just gotta draw the pump spells, I guess. And one line can go. So we've got a plan. Opponents on what looks to be the Convoke deck. Percussionist, also an artifact they can destroy with the uh, Gleeful Demolition. So our opponent's gonna go wide. We would love Trample, although Slickshot flying over could also help. So yeah, any of our cantripping pump spells would be great here. Opponent's got the Demolition. So already making three one ones finds a reinforcements which they can play next turn, and a warden which can immediately activate. So that's a good start. And we're just gonna play two more Lumamancers, I think. Their opponent can play reinforcements, plus convoke something out. If they do tap most of their team, they might leave themselves vulnerable to the triple Lumamancer. Because every spell we cast with Leyline will pump these for four. But sadly, our hand's not very good. Our opponent's just activating Warden. And attacks. Take six. And a Homestead Courage. Not a bad draw. So it can cast that twice. Or it can go Slick Shot played once. And if we go Slick Shot first, we do get a little bit more damage overall. If our opponent's got a Recruiter next turn, I assume we're dead anyway. 
even with two blockers back. So I'll go slick shots into Courage. And we can keep the slick shot on defense. Blocks a bit better. Alright, Epicure's fine. That's no Recruiter. There's no Goblin Bushwhacker on Arena yet, as far as I know. So our opponent's Pumps the Warden. May have to trump it here, we'll see. Percussionist, another hasty threat. Our opponent is on empty. Warden having Vigilance does mean they get to block Slickshot on the way back as well. And they are leaving their Goblins back as well, it seems. And they're reconsidering their attacks. Right now it doesn't make sense for them to send in the 1-1s, one -ones, since I can just eat those for free and take 4. So maybe they just end up attacking with a Warden. And I think that's the conclusion they're coming to. Nope. Sophie's choice over here. Alright, take 4. And a Defiant Strike's a good starting point. So, prioritize pumping the Slick Shots and hope to find Trample. And there we go, that's Trample, so that should be game. Can target. Uh, Lumamancer as well, the largest one. And a Monstrous Rage, why not? So plenty of damage to spare. Yeah, it was a bit of a risky keep, but I'm glad it worked out. Getting to see the combo of Lumamancer with Leyline. And hopefully our opponent sticks around for trample damage. Alright, our opponent explodes, but uh, yeah, with double Monstrous Rage, those are a pair of 13-powered trampling Lumimancers, plus all the trample from Slickshot. So that's going to be well over 30 damage going through. Sweet, on to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw. Only have one creature. So it's going to be weak to interaction, basically. But it is still probably a keep overall. Facing turn one planes. Could it be an aggro deck? It is. Thalia's annoying. But they're less likely to have removal for Virtuoso at least. But all our one mana spells now costing two mana is gonna slow us down. Take two. And Leyline costing five mana now. So. Interesting their opponent didn't have anything to play here. Could mean that they have another Igunjo in hand that they're trying to set up. I think I just pass a turn. Vanguard. That works. So if they have another Igunjo, they can still channel it for two mana. So I don't necessarily want to try and block here. Even though I could have a Manifest left over. Cycle a Defiant Strike. Connive, maybe discarding the Ley Line. And then I can play another Virtuoso. This one could consider attacking, because if I cast Two pump spells, including Monstrous Rage. I can get it above for toughness. So maybe that's fine. Mm, 
discard Lumamancer, because I do need to get a counter here. And Slick Shot to draw. Alright, so we'll attack. And we'll see if they have Igunjo. They do. Alright, so now Monstrous Rage. I have to get rid of a spell. And that's an attack for 16. And Slickshot might get the job done now. So yeah, our read was correct. Glad we played around it. And Lieutenant is fine. And our opponent passes. So play slick shots. Could also plot two of them and pass to play it extra safe. But uh yeah, opponent would need a third eye gunjo pretty much. So I'm fine casting it. And attack. Opponent blocks with everyone, so taking out Thalia in first strike and Vanguard means they don't even get to take out my Virtuoso, and then I would still trample for four, plus one is lethal, so no need to do anything. And our opponent had to brave the elements to soak up the damage, makes sense. And then turn inside out is lethal. Alright, GG's. I'll do the next one. Okay, we're on the draw, facing a Yorion deck. So it might be a more controlling build. But we've got a Keeper. Could use more pump spells. But we've got lots of threats. So your opponent does seem like blue-white. Alright, best way to waste their mana is to just plot a slick shots. And then next turn we can potentially double spell. Opponent did have an omen to play, so didn't quite get to waste their mana. Do have a couple basics for Field of Ruin. Maybe start with a Homestead Courage, not a disaster if it gets countered. Get in for three. And play Virtuoso. And then next turn, if our opponent does wipe the board, we can maybe go all in on the Slick Shots. That opponent's got the lockdown, which will also exile the Omens. So this is my window to get some damage in with the slick shots before they keep up more interaction. So if we play it and essentially empty my hand, how much damage are we talking? So that's six, seven, eight, plus four triggers. That's another eight, so that would be 17 exactly. Assuming no interaction here. And the coast does seem clear. And hit you for 17. Awesome. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw, facing a Gigantha deck. Only have one creature. The pump spells are not necessarily the most exciting ones. I think it's worth a mulligan. All right, this is a little bit better. I'll keep two lands, two creatures, two ancestral angers. Facing a red aggro. Don't have any instant speed pump spells to enable the hoplite's ability. It can sometimes be useful for blocking. Swiss Spears next. 
No blocks. Do we see Monstrous Rage? Perhaps we do. Alright, so opponents definitely in the lead. As we find Ancestral Anger number three. This might be a game where we don't even cast a slick shot. Just go all in on Ancestral Anger. Homestead Courage is helpful. So now we can Homestead Courage and attack with Vigilance. And then next turn, Double Anger is plus 3 power, plus 4 power, so that's 7, 8, 9, would be 13 total, so it's not quite lethal. Opponents playing a bit of black as well, so they might be on a Cell Sword build. Yeah, blocking is pretty sketchy in the face of another pump spell. Although we do have a Slick Shot, so we can always kind of pivot, let them two for one themselves to deal with the Hoplite, and then next turn we can start pumping the Slick Shot instead. Yeah, opponent infuriates, so this might just be a Cell Sword kill anyway. Yep. Alright, can't escape it, even an explorer. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play. We've got Ley Line, two creatures, two pump spells, so a great hand. And play Hop Lights. Well, let's see what we're up against. Just a tapped Temple Garden. So, yeah, I think Slick Shot attack, and then next turn we should definitely get there. Opponent might be on Angel Life Gain, but that's a deck that really needs to get to 3 and 4 mana to start making their big plays. Never mind, Wayfinder, so it looks like a Grease Fang deck. And there's a namesake card. Alright, I guess what we don't have is Trample, so no point in pumping the Hoplite too much. So just Homestead Courage, Slick Shot twice. Attack. Our opponent takes it, in which case I can turn inside out to Hoplite now to get the extra heroic trigger. That's 15, so it's not quite lethal. But our opponent's still missing a vehicle in the graveyard to bring back with Grease Fang, so we should still get another turn at least. And our opponent explodes. Awesome. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. No ley line, but still functional with two creatures, two lands, and some pump spells. And our opponent's on red aggro. So being on the draw is always going to be a bit of an uphill battle. And we'll see if our opponent's playing lots of burn spells. Play with fire for now. But they are stuck on one land. Still don't think I want to cast a slick shot. We can just plot it. With turn inside out, we can potentially get a replacement creature if our opponent keeps a mana, although never mind, I guess with etching of Kumano they would exile my creature instead. But our opponent just committing swift spears to hit for four. Alright, and now between Homestead Courage and Monstrous Rage, we can get our slick shot up to four toughness. So that's relevant. Could have maybe started with a Defiant Strike. And find a Lumimancer. I think we can get there with just a Slick Shot. Hit you for 12. And then next turn we've got a bunch more pump spells to fire off. Swiss Pierce fine. So what's the worst case scenario? Opponents got their own Monstrous Rage or, wow, Witch Stalker Frenzy. That's unlucky. 
And Leyline doesn't do much. Yeah, I guess uh, play Luma Mainster. Can pump with Courage. Or I can just pass. But our opponent's probably gonna present lethal. Any way to enable Prowess will do it. Opponent's got their own Slick Shots, alright, so maybe we get another turn here. Keeping all the blockers back. So what's my plan? Next turn just cast all three spells. Lumimancer gets six power just from the triggers, plus another seven, so that's thirteen. Although our opponent does have eight toughness, so I guess they would survive. But we're also not necessarily dead on the way back. Playing Leyline first I don't think is gonna work out for me. So I'll attack and hope for the best. Our opponent only single blocks, alright, in that case we should get there. With a little bit of damage to spare. So what a swingy game. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play. Yeah, I think we can keep two creatures, some pump spells. One of them draws a card. Well, let's see what we're up against. Blue-white. I think I just cast a slick shot now. Plotting it doesn't make sense when our opponent's not keeping up a counter spell. But our opponent's gotta get lost, unfortunately. Alright, so we'll have to get there with the Lumimancer. Virtuoso, I guess, to the rescue. That one can deal a little bit more damage if we pump it up. Can also consider discarding Homestead Courage to connive and then still flash it back. Alright, opponents go to March this time. Alright, so we'll start doing some math here. So, Defined Strike, double Homestead Courage, Monstrous Rage is 4, 5, 6, plus. 8 is 14, put my opponent to 2. 2 is not 0, I guess we'll see what we draw of Defiant Strike first. Could be another plus 3 power pump spell. Find a Virtuoso. Problem with Virtuoso now is that our opponent could cast Supreme Verdict next turn. Although, maybe if they had Supreme Verdict they would have just kept up their instant speed removal instead of just tapping out right away. So I think I will try this approach. Hit for six. Play Virtuoso. I can also sacrifice our map tokens to go exploring. Alrighty, so... Step one, Ancestral Anger. Pond also has four mana, which represents Wandering Emperor, so then giving our key creature Vigilance is also important. Can maybe tempt him to remove the Lumimancer in response. Find another one. Alright, so maybe now cast Homestead Courage on Virtuoso. Which lets us connive. I'll go for the plus one counter. Can still explore. Fine strike. I'm fine to keep on top. And attack. So I should be able to beat a Wandering Emperor. Bono just animates Anchorage, that's fine. They can still tap it for mana. 
but it would have to be a very specific removal spell, probably just a bounce spell for one mana. So I'll just Monstrous Rage here to find out. And our opponent explodes. Awesome. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play. We've got Leyline, two threats, some pump spells. We'll try it. Do want to cast this on my own creature to get the copy, so if we target the opponents, that's not going to happen. Opponents blue red looks like a Phoenix deck, which is known for having lots of cheap burn spells. So Virtuoso may not survive. Still gonna try it here. If they remove this one, I may have to wait until I have more lands to deploy my second creature. All right, put on tapping out for an artist talent. So do we just win here? It seems pretty likely. If we can draw into a third land, especially. A Lumomancer we can connive and discard. Hoplite can go and find a land. And then now turn inside out is already enough by itself. Although we could go even harder. So that's already 26. If we cast Monstrous Rage with a connive, we could deal a bunch more, but there's no need. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. A double Virtuoso, a couple pump spells. Not the best hands, but still potentially serviceable. Facing white aggro and ley line a turn late here. Alright, so if our opponent's got a Thalia, they can definitely slow us down. And there it is. So just want to keep hitting land drops, so with 4 mana we can potentially cast 2 pump spells. Right now Virtuoso is still blocking the officer profitably. Bodyguard could make it indestructible. Or they can protect Thalia. And now Lieutenant means they can attack past my Virtuoso anyway. So yeah, points off to a great start with Thalia. Also don't have any instant speed pump spells to maybe set up an ambush. So it's probably going to be Hoplites. For now we can Homestead Courage. Discard Leyline to the Knife since we're not casting it this game. Playing another Virtuoso is still somewhat reasonable since we can double block, assuming there's no removal, and take out a two toughness creature with first strike. But I think going for Courage is still a little bit better since that allows me to attack right now. And start making some progress. Another officer, Rose Lieutenant, and another Lieutenant. Can still block reasonably well with Virtuoso. And Hoplite can jump, so we're not that on board. Okay. So, can block Officer, jump Lieutenant, take 8. And then next turn... Hopefully draw a lane so we can present lethal with a Virtuoso. Could have also blocked the bodyguard, but it's not like we're gonna end up removing Thalia here. So it's just uh, drawing a card here, plus connive, hopefully finding another land that's untapped. Find a slick shot that doesn't quite do it. Discarding anger means we get to pump a little bit more. 
and a god's willing is probably not quite going to be enough. Our opponent can even take it and only take 12. So yeah, just needed one more land here and I think we get there. Because even with three toughness, if we monstrous rage, that's going to be four extra power, which is eight total with double strike. So yeah, I think we were probably favors to get there. But it wasn't meant to be. Good game. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play. We've got two creatures, two lands, and some good pump spells. Seems good enough to me. Let's see what we're up against. Black green, looks like maybe a Grease Fang deck. So I think I go for Virtuoso. May actually survive here. And Red Knights, that's fine. Okay, so we can do some serious damage. Can we deal lethal is a question. Maybe if I draw into another land here with triple pump spell, we'll certainly get there. So I'll main phase so we can connive. Found a land, so yeah, this should be enough. Who needs a ley line? And that's 26 damage. Nice and easy. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play. We've got ley line, only one creature, so that's potentially an issue. But some quality pump spells as well. Gotta try. Opponent playing with Gigantha. Might be a red aggro deck. And we do see Ramana Perunes. Alright, so since there's no early pressure, I think we can afford to play it slow. Especially with turn inside out. We can at least manifest Dread if they try and take out the Virtuoso. Even though we could have presented lethal on turn 3. Opponent's got the Manifold Mouse. By itself, not super likely to win the game next turn. And I could also Homestead Courage, but I think we keep up turn inside. Swiss Spear's fine. And Audacity is acceptable. So if that's all they have, we should get there next turn. Alright, could also fire off an instant end of turn just for the connive and maybe the roll token. But uh, I don't think it matters. Monstrous Rage, discard Homestead Courage is always good value. Get the plus one counter from connive. And turn inside out is already enough. All right, hit you for 30. And that's how a real double striker looks like. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. We've got a hand with only one creature, although it is a good one. Virtuoso can certainly win games by itself. God's Willing has a way to maybe give it evasion or protection. And then the fine strikes we can cycle. This one's close. If our opponent opens with a discard spell, this hand doesn't do anything. Although we could still cycle the fine strike on the opponent's creatures to draw. It's not great, but I'll try it. Opponent green white life gain. And we found a one mana creature, so that's nice. 
that Dex removal is mostly Skyclave Apparition, which not every version necessarily has. So I feel okay committing the Virtuoso, since it's going to hit a lot harder than the Slick Shot. And a Jada's fine. Okay, so Defiant Strike Virtuoso, step one. Discarding Homestead Courage, or we can cast a Slick Shot and just cast a Defiant Strike. Can still play Hasty Slick Shot next turn, so I think this is fine. Can also ditch a Lumimancer. Don't see myself necessarily casting another one. Now we do want to probably just keep up a God's Willing as well. So I can go discard Lumimancer. Cast a Homestead Courage for Vigilance. Keep up God's Willing and Defiant Strike, so I can maybe still cycle Defiant Strike if I want to. And attack. Our opponent kind of needs to respect another pump spell here, but they're gonna take it. So if I were to Defiant Strike and discard another spell that's two extra power, so that's 14 plus 6 is 20. Opponent falls to 1. Yeah, that's not bad. And then what happens if they play a Skyclave Apparition? Then we lose Virtuoso, but we still maybe get there with Slick Shots. And God's willing, so yeah, I think this is fine. And then Virtuoso can go. So yeah, I could go Slick Shots, giving Pro White, let's it attack pass Jada. And then any pump spell will certainly do it. And our opponent explodes, and I believe we get to rank up here as well. Awesome. So yeah, we got to see the latest iteration of Boros Heroic in action. Of course, Leyline adding even more variants to a deck that can already be quite high variants. But uh, yeah, it's very powerful if it can go unopposed. You will run into matchups every now and then that have lots of disruption. Cards like Thoughtseize and Fatal Push is what you don't want to face. But even there, you can maybe still find enough threats to eventually overpower them, especially with Leyline drawing you a ton of extra cards with all the various cantrips. So yeah, it's a powerful deck, but you'll have to accept some losses where you don't get to do much of anything for the chance of hopefully opening with a Leyline. So yeah, that's going to do it for today's gameplay. want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day.